Joining me now is Alfonso Aguilar, president for the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles. Alfonso, welcome back. Happy to be with you. We just heard Mark say that the key to bipartisan support could be what President Trump does with dreamers. Right. So, does he have to give on dreamers to get the broader plan? And would he do it, do you think? I think so. In the past, he's proposed uh, legalizing dreamers, giving them a path to citizenship. Uh, I was part of some of the meetings that uh, Jared Kushner held with different experts and groups to discuss immigration. The president asked him to look at this issue, and, and Jared has been looking at, looking at it from a very broad perspective, certainly looking at the importance of strengthening border security, but at the same time ensuring that, uh, uh, that the, the U.S. gets the foreign workers that our economy needs needs, moving to a more merit-based system. Well, let's talk about that. The, the reports are he'll allow an additional 30,000 foreigners to come in as seasonal workers right now, and that's needed because of the booming economy. And doesn't this conflict, though, with his hardline stance on reducing the number of people entering the country? Well, it's, it's very interesting because there is, seems to be some contradiction. In the past, he's talked about reducing legal immigration, but here, uh, you know, with the strong economy that we have, the president lately has been saying that we actually need more foreign workers. We have about 7 million jobs in this country that are unfilled, so we need those foreign workers. In this case, he wants to increase the number of people coming through the H-2B program, which are non it's a visa program, visa program non-agriculture uh, uh, workers that work in construction, the hospitality industry. Well, some Republicans are even pushing back. Let's take a look at uh, this uh, statement from Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas. We should be setting immigration policies that support wage growth and employment for Americans instead of encouraging a race to the bottom by importing low-cost labor. Is he right? He's wrong. Uh, in, in fact, uh, immigrant workers are not reducing the wages of Americans uh, or taking away their jobs. They're actually, cr by filling jobs that Americans don't want or for which there are no Americans of working age, they're helping create good paying jobs for middle class Americans. But Senator Cotton actually doesn't represent the majority of Republicans or even conservative Republicans in the Senate and House. Last thing, I read with shock the New York Times editorial that was written this week that said that this is a humanitarian crisis at the border and that the co uh, Congress should give president, the president money to face it. Well, is this a tipping point for mainstream media? Not really, because they, they're willing to call it a humanitarian crisis, but a, not a national security crisis. So what? They, well, they support the funding for humanitarian needs, but not to increase the number of uh, beds in deportation centers. And we actually need to expand our capacity to hold people in deportation centers. So it is a first, uh, it's a good first step for the New York Times, <laughs> but they still have to recognize that this is this is a humanitarian crisis, but it's also a national it's a security national crisis. National security. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Alfonso Aguilar, president of the Latino Partnership for Conservative Principles. Thank you.